Hi, my name is Leona Dunn. My name is Nay Harris. My name is Cassandra Jones. And my name is Shay Jordan. <laughs> and we're from St. Luke's. Represent! Okay. <laughs> and this poem is called Poem 51. When did black skin become scary? Was it before or after we were labeled three-fifth human? Our identity was given to us, and now it is up to us to either be or flee the stereotype. Rape, murder, theft, crazy. These are not defined by race, but by individuals that make poor choices. But lately we, black people, haven't been given choices. Who was there to give him a choice when he was walking down the street armed with Skittles and ice-flavored water, wearing the threatening image of his face? Clothed in whatever he could afford. Labeled dangerous through stereotypical illusions. Faced with an unfair advantage and an unnecessary altercation. Because everyone knows that bullets are bigger than biceps. As his body lay in the street, waiting for justice to pick him up. Yet it never came. And thank God he was alone. Since we now know that eyewitness testimony and even video evidence no longer counts as liable. We learned this when he was there. Fred on hip, jaywalking, armed with cigarettes and drinks. Antagonized with an attack by a cop car's door. And what cost him his life? Miscommunication. How was he supposed to know that hands up meant shoot me as his body laid in the street for hours, waiting, waiting for, for justice, justice to pick, pick him, him up, yet it never came. Eventually carried to the hospital in an SUV, as if his black skin would get the ambulance. And we all know who did it. We're not just asking for you to take away their badges, but take away their guns. Replace them with toy ones. Because when he was there in the park playing around, scaring the neighborhood, it proved that toy guns are just as threatening. Just remember to take off the sticker, because a sticker could cost you your life. As his 12-year-old year body, body laid on the ground for four minutes alive, waiting for justice to pick him up, yet it never came. Yet why the riots, they asked. Because no, no one, one listens, no one, one reports, no one, one cares when black people are doing well and want, want to speak out. So maybe a hair salon does need to be burned down in Missouri in order for someone to pay attention because he was there trying to end violence, not knowing how violent the law could be. Sick of being harassed, choked out on the sidewalk for using his right to freedom of speech. Now, he always be remembered for his last words. I can't breathe. Now you got the ones we labeled Surround justice. Surrounded around his body. Responsible for the reason he needed to be picked up. Watching no. civilians crowd around the crime, seeing them with their Samsungs, iPhones, iPads, and cameras. Now they're the ones saying, don't shoot.